Welcome to Great Day at 9A. I'm Scott Haney. And I'm Nicole Malepa. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Is it like Stiff Wednesday around here? Or something? I don't know what it Robotic is. Robotic Wednesday. We're wearing our orange for Work Zone Safety Week. Yes, yeah. It's all about Orange for Safety, Go Orange Day, and Work Zone Safety Awareness Week really sheds a light on um, all of our obviously road workers, sure. but all of the deaths I know, so that are associated with drivers not moving over and obeying the orange. You gotta gotta obey the so, orange. So so important. So we're wearing it in support of all the road workers, the DOT out there in the country, and also in honor of the lives lost. Absolutely. Well. All right, let's get to the weather. It's gorgeous out there right now. Uh, unfortunately, that is expected to change. As you can see, first alert live radar scanning the state dry. Future cast tomorrow's weather today shows increasing cloudiness. This is 2 p.m. It's still dry, but it's clouding up at 2 p.m. And then you're going to notice right around 5 p.m. I've been talking about this all morning, and uh, we are expecting to see some scattered showers. Now, the rain gets a little bit more robust tonight. This is around midnight tonight, so there will be showers in the state. And then tomorrow morning when you join us on Channel 3, Eyewitness News, there will be some scattered showers in the state, and that'll be the uh, trend throughout the day tomorrow. I just ran the clock down through 5 p.m. And then tomorrow night, it'll start to uh, alleviate. And Fridays look like a pretty good day with a chance for some showers late in the day, but they look very minimal. So for the remainder of today, you'll notice the icons flip over to rain at 7 p.m., but that'll take place actually right around 5 p.m. And then your three-day forecast, it's clouding up today, cooler tomorrow with scattered showers. Look at those temperatures. And then Friday, scattered afternoon showers, not a washout by any means. Temperatures will rebound nicely for Friday and into the weekend. I have to admit, I had my winter coat this morning. I, I had my heat on in the car. Yeah, a lot of people did. No, you get It'll used to not having to wear anything. And, and then, then all of a sudden, <laughs> whammo. Yeah, but all it's right. okay. We'll yeah, get through absolutely. it. We'll get through it. Yeah. All right, there's a new way to get help if your vacation turned into a travel nightmare. Yeah, this is, you know, it's bad news when that happens, but this is good news for travelers. Absolutely. Connecticut's Attorney General is now launching a new helpline for travelers who run into issues with air travel. The service is a partnership between our state and the U.S. Department of Transportation. So if you file a complaint, Attorney General Tong will work with the airline to get it resolved. The idea is that it cuts out stress for travelers and also eliminates potential issues in getting in touch with customer service. That's, that's great. And you know, it's, we all have limited time. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's very helpful when we can de defer to the system and the people we, you know, obviously vote for in office to 100%. do the job. All right. We have a breakdown of the steps to file a complaint on the WFSB app, which I also think is terrific. Yes. WFSB app is also your friend when it you have limited time. It is your friend. Exactly. <laughs> and coming up next, are you dealing with stubborn 